So we are a licensed abortion facility, which is already a pretty rigorous set of regulations that Texas clinics have in order to be an abortion provider at all. We're licensed by the state of Texas. We have a surprise inspection from a highly trained nurse at least once a year. We have a quality assurance program, infection control program. You know, our counselors have certification. Our doctors are board certified. All that stuff is in place already here. The average price for an abortion um, in a clinic setting is about $525, and that's um, you know for for um, five to 18 weeks. And in the ambulatory surgical center, it's well over a thousand. So it's at least double, if not almost three times triple. This is um, where the patients come post-operative to recover. Mm -hmm. um, and so this is one of the examples of a room like you couldn't have a room that to me is this warm friendly. Mm -hmm. in, a, in a surgery center. You've got to have structures with, with curtains that separate. You can't have any artwork on the wall. You can't have any sort of pillows or heating pads or any of that kind of comfort. What I think of as comfort kind of stuff, it's much more sterile hospital environment. So this is very un-surgery center-like. Yeah. Yet it's one of the things that patients like the most yeah. is that sort of warm, comfortable environment. The Ambulatory Surgical Center is a whole pretty rigorous set of physical plant restrictions and sort of regulations that are based on outpatient surgery, you know, kind of they're, they're sort of built for doing things like knee surgery or exploratory laparoscopy or that kind of stuff. So there's a lot of things that involve like airflow and boiler systems and hallway widths and involve sort of temperature control, humidity control. There's male and female locker rooms, sort of janitor's closets, all this kind of physical plant stuff that's really quite expensive to build from the ground up and it's equally expensive to retrofit your building. So when a law passed here in 2004 that required all, um, am all abortions over 16 weeks in Texas to be done in an ambulatory surgical center, um, all of us kind of looked around to try to figure out if we could find an ambulatory surgical center where we could get privileges and I got estimates from architects about retrofitting you know, the clinics that I had at that time and they, they quoted me somewhere around 300 to $300, $350 a square foot for either building from the ground or retrofitting our, our space. And it's just not something that, that we would be able to afford um, to do. And it's not connected at all with, with patient safety, you know. Um, in 2010, I was able to find an ambulatory surgical center in San Antonio um, that we were able to buy the license for. And, and it's allowed us to serve women who are later gestation patients, you know, maternal fetal medicine kind of patients that women who, you know, find out, you know, have a wanted pregnancy and find out that they can't continue it. And um, prior to that time, I called all the ambulatory surgical centers actually in the whole state of Texas to try to get privileges for our physicians and to try to be able to bring our patients there and was unable to really make an arrangement that worked. It took us about six years to find a, a place that we, could, that we could lease and we could serve our patients.